G'day guys, welcome back to MG Rebuild and hello to all my new subscribers as well. Today's episode, we're going to fit the other side guard. Now, to do that, because it doesn't actually have any hole mounting holes drilled in the guard because I had them all welded up because there was two of them, sorry, two holes for every hole that's supposed to have been there. They've all been welded up, so I've got to mark all the holes. But to do that, I've got to take the other side off, back off, and measure some um, mounting points. So we'll move on to that side first. Okay, that was a lot harder having the, the wheel on the car at the time, but um, it was a lot easier for me just to leave it that way and work around it. But anyway, moving on. Okay, so I've, I've marked the first hole that actually bolts into this captive nut. Um, that way I can then get the actual uh, distance at the bottom there spot on, and then everything else will sit around there just right, hopefully. shirt just a smaller version of that actual current logo <coughs> there is excuse my coffee I just, <coughs> just had dinner um, there is a, a brand new logo coming out in a couple of weeks time and I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it actually it's uh, it's more aimed at all types of NGs this one so keep your eye out for it and I'll be hopefully wearing it very soon and of course it'll be available for sale if you actually go onto, the, onto my store, mgrebuild.store, you'll actually see a version of it on a, on a mug and I think there's a phone case there as well or something else. And that gives you a bit of an idea what the actual logo is going to look like and like I said, it's going to be on shirts and everything else. So jump on, on the store and uh, have a look. Now, what size hole do we need? half-inch. not the neatest hole. <coughs> In fact it looks like it's actually a little bit too far towards the edge, just fractionally, but anyway. It will do for what I need to do today. Now, let's move this other guard out of the way. Put 
put the first bolt in. Okay, uh, <clears throat> forgot to hit record again on the on the video. So anyway, I've got two holes drilled now. So one at the very front and one about midway. Um, it's looking like it's going to line up okay. Um, I've just got to work out whereabouts this has got to sit in relation to the shackle so I don't want it to hit. I've put the other side back on for a bit of a reference And that looks like it's about right. So, still got another couple of holes to drill. It's almost as hard as lining up the doors. The wheel makes a really good, uh, really good workbench actually, because these guards are very, 
pretty hard to maneuver and hard to actually put on a on any sort of workbench. From up here, the world seems small. We can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Now, I will have that welded up, that other hole, um, <coughs> just not straight away. I'll uh, got more work to do yet, and I'll take it over to Jim and have it welded up again. That part, anyway. Okay, time to put it on, another fitting, mark another two holes, and then we should be right. Draw, obviously, and refit them and put the wheel back on. Let's see how we go. And that went fairly well. Um, I still got a good hole drilled up, welded up. Um, there was a hole there that I got, forgot to get done, uh, as in welded, so I'll get Jim to do that next time I see him. Um, now the, the fitment is is reasonable. Um, I haven't tightened any of the bolts up or anything like that because uh, the chances are they've got to come off again, and plus also I've got to put the the, the running boards on there as well, so I've got to have a little bit of wiggle room to be able to do that. So at this stage, I'm not going to um, tighten it up, but I'll let you have a quick look at it. Hang on. Sort of hard to see from this angle. You possibly saw it earlier, but it's not too bad. But bear in mind, there is still there's a little bit of a gap there, but like I said, it's still got to be tightened up a bit. And it's not too bad. Okay, now all that's left to be done is put the wheel back on and lower the car back down.
Okay guys, it's um, all back together now. As you can see outside, it's uh, getting quite late, so this will be it for the video. Um, now, I've been getting a lot of comments in regards to the doors. I know they're not a good fit, and I actually that's what I'm gonna do next, next episode. I'm gonna pull the doors off again and start from scratch. Um, I've been told the doors are the hardest things to actually do work on on the MG and on the T series. It's possibly the same for the MGA as well, I'm not sure, but it's it's very, very frustrating. Anyway, so I'll pull those off and I'll try and have another go at those um, in the next couple of days. So anyway, um, if you haven't already subscribed and you're watching this and thinking, okay, I could possibly do that, please subscribe to the channel. Um, it helps make the channel stronger and bigger and um, so that way we can go places. Um, if you like the merch, um, this is, like I said, one of the, uh, the, it's the old design just on a pocket there. You can get them in polo shirts as well. Excuse the nipples, it's, I'm hot. <laughs> um, might have blocked those out perhaps. Uh, so don't forget to, to like, comment, uh, share the video, and especially comment because um, I've been getting a lot of good comments in with help to the actual how to fit the doors and there's quite a few different methods to, to get them to, to line up and I'm gonna be, well hopefully I won't have to try all of them, but I'll certainly be trying some of them until the actual doors fit just right. So until next time, um, I said visit the store, mgrebuild.store and you can check out the new logo that's coming out in the next couple of weeks. That's actually on the website right now. You can get it in, in a cup and a uh, phone, phone case and something else my son's dreamed up as well. I can't think of what it was now, but anyway, you'll see it on there. So until next time, I'll catch you later.